The body of 39-year-old Jacqueline Mitchell was found at an apartment in a 2200 block of Palestro Drive, Maryland Heights Police Department confirmed on Tuesday. Mitchell was reported missing to the St. Charles Police on March 16th. Her family was unable to get her on the phone and were concerned. She always answered or called them back, and when she didn't, concern turned into fear, so they started to look for her. They were able to trace her steps. Mitchell worked in Sunset Hills, so she often stopped for food. The owner of a business in that area she frequented gave her sister Tiffany a surveillance video. The video captured Mitchell's last known whereabouts. She was last seen on the 14th, leaving Maggie O'Brien's in Sunset Hills. She went there to grab a salad after work and was there for a few hours. Then Mitchell got into her car and left the restaurant alone at 11.26 p.m. Mitchell was wearing gray sweatpants, a black hoodie with a red shirt underneath, and black and white gym shoes. She was carrying a black purse and had half her hair in a bun. Tiffany was doing everything in her power to locate her sister. She gave a statement to the local station and said, I can't sleep. I've been so worried. The family had flyers made and passed them out, hoping someone saw something. Tiffany said Mitchell's phone last pinged off a cell phone tower near Highway 364 in Bennington, which brought the search to a six-mile radius in Maryland Heights. The family was able to find out that her debit card was last used at that restaurant and believed that the battery in her phone most likely needed a charge. Mitchell drove a Nissan Sentra and it was found in a parking lot at the Whisper Hollow Apartments in Maryland Heights by her family members. They wasted no time contacting the police, although there was nothing in the car to direct them to Mitchell's location. Police made an arrest announcing that Joseph DeJoy had been charged with second degree of taking her life, tampering with physical evidence, and abandonment of a corpse. He is currently being held at the St. Louis County Justice Center on a cash-only bond of $1 million. Maryland Heights Police Chief Bill Carson said, We actually got a pretty significant break in this case when we were able to obtain surveillance video of DeJoy driving Mitchell's car after she had disappeared. During their investigation, they learned that Mitchell and DeJoy had exchanged text messages. They say that they knew each other socially, but they did not describe their relationship further. Police say DeJoy admitted to ending Mitchell's life. They located her body at his apartment, say he wiped it down as well as her car, trying to conceal or eliminate evidence. DeJoy has past charges. They believe that the body had been in the apartment since the 14th when Mitchell was reported missing. The police did not provide any further details. Mitchell had a big heart and would do anything for anyone. She was a thoughtful, kind person who was enjoying life and was always in good spirits. Mitchell was said to be a friend to everyone she met. She had a big, bright smile and was close to her family and loved ones. This is another senseless tragedy where a victim is taken away from her family and did not deserve what happened to her. Jacqueline Elizabeth Mitchell was a happy, loving person who loved life, her friends, and family, and will be missed by all who loved her as her memory will live through them. My prayers are with the friends and family of Jacqueline Elizabeth Mitchell.